Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Lorelai Shimayo, and this is MeWe Fairs for energizing body, mind, heart, and soul. We have events throughout the Northwest and many online. We interview our practitioners and vendors so you get a chance to know who we are before you meet us at an event. I'm excited to be here today with Brooke Bucci. It's lovely to be with you. Lovely to be with you as well. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So what is it that you do? What do you offer at our events? Yeah, thanks. Uh, well, first, I just thank you for all the hard work you do and um, just providing this platform is really wonderful. So thanks for um, taking the time to interview me. Yes. You're so welcome. <laughs> yeah. So I offer multidimensional energy healing and the form that that takes for me is meditative journey work, shamanic journey work. My main area of focus is, um, is on womb healing and reproductive issues. So I came into energy work um, about three years ago. I began training. Before that, I have been a certified nurse midwife. Um, I'm still a midwife and for 12 years and attended over 1,100 births. And I worked as a nurse before that. And so I intimately understand the energetics around pregnancy and birth and uh, just reproductive health in general. And so um, I um, uh, also, so I help people with conscious conception, um, clearing and preparing their bodies for pregnancy, for labor and birth, um, for that transition to um, parenthood as they welcome their baby earth side. But I also um, have expertise in working with birth trauma and healing sexual trauma, um, uh, people that are um, having cancer, uterine cancer, breast cancer, um, or just need to have a um, uterine surgery, um, and perimenopause, menopause, menstrual issues, those kinds of things. So really a broad spectrum. And um, and so, you know, so much we focus on in the medical field and not taking in that there can be energetic uh, uh, influences or blockages um, that are, are coming in to affect these issues. And so that is, is the level that I work on. Mm -hmm. And so I just see myself as a, illuminating the path uh, for assisting others when we sometimes can't see what's blocking and uh, assisting people to their own inner wisdom to find that where that blockage um, is in them, whether it's a past lifetime that happens frequently um, or um, uh, childhood traumas or, you know, um, you know, it can be, you know, many different things. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All the different kinds of traumas yeah. that can happen during adulthood and all the yeah. different, yeah, so many things. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I appreciate that you have such a grounding in the biology and kind of the emotional field of people yes. and then just expanding, right. All the spiritual energetics and then, and all these different things connected to those parts of our bodies and that part of our, right. The energy of the cycling of, of life. And yes. Wow. And I, I do want to say that the work is not just for women, although admittedly I work mostly with um, people that identify as women, but you know, we've all been in a womb. We, if we believe in past lifetimes, we've likely inhabited a body that has a womb. You know, we all have a womb chakra that can carry, um, uh, you know, uh, from past lifetimes, but this lifetime as well. Inner child stuff is often held in the sacral womb chakra as well. So uh, I help both men and women, you know, as uh, it is a place to rebirth that divine feminine onto this planet, which is really what is needed as we come back into balance with love kind of consciousness. So, so, um, so both men and women, uh, or, uh, however people right, identify non-binary people and trans people and all kinds of, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And so what do you do at the, at the fairs? Do you do kind of introductions to these things? Do you do some healing at the fairs? What do you do yeah. in more of the public setting? Yeah, I offer um, shortened sessions. I mean, my sessions are typically an hour and 15 um, minutes long. Um, and but I order, I mean, I offer shorter sessions. Um, and, and it can just be doesn't have to be a womb healing specifically, but just going in and doing a journey to identify anything that is a blockage or anything that you want assistance with. Um, 
and um, but certainly also just explaining and going over the different options that I do as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you shared some of the connection that you've had throughout your life and how this is open. How is the more intuitive and energetic side open for you, not only in your own awareness and also in how you practice with people? Yeah, thanks. So, um, you know, I was always a sensitive, I mean, it, I think everybody on this platform probably uh, was, sens you know, always in sensitive and intuitive um, as children, but I came into, in my 20s, into kind of a first level of awakening and really got very clear on my inner knowing, that clairsentience, and, um, and took that into my work and kind of was connected with the spirit world in my work. Um, but I was still at that time pretty conditioned about uh, work has to be hard and it has to be um, sacrificing. And um, and I was very enmeshed in working within the healthcare system. And um, and so uh, so my work was spirit based um, and I worked on an energetic side of it, but often did not have that verbal communication with my my clients um, about it just a few would, I would be able to have that conversation. And um, when COVID hit and more things went online, I had the opportunity to connect in with um, other healers and teachers and begin um, my multi-dimensional energy healing training and other um, trainings that I went through. And, um, and I began to recognize that that kind of shamanic meditative journey is, is where I'm most gifted and um, I was able to hone my skills during that time. And I just realized it was time to get out of the hospital and the healthcare system. It was so restrictive and that my work has expanded as a midwife uh, to not just be attending births, but to be assistance to like midwife to the soul is how yes. I think of it. Yes. I appreciate just the artwork you have behind you, the the style and the colors and then of course you have a plant and like to me like that your values are so in the screen yeah. with you right now that yeah yeah those maternal uh, feminine um, joyful energies <laughs> mm, lovely which is what I bring to my work yeah well if people want to learn more about you where do they go on the web yeah. So my business is called journeywithbrook.com. And so they can just look that up journeywithbrook.com. I do um, online sessions. I do um, in-person sessions in Edmonds and I am willing. Um, I, I live out of my camper van and so I'm a little um, mobile. And um, so if I will also come to your home, if I'm within 30 minutes of, of where you live as well. Great. And Brooke is spelled with an E for everyone that goes looking yes. for you online. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Well, I'm so excited to be connected with you and to have more people aware of your work and have you in the field of all that we do. Yeah. Thank you so much. I so am excited. I just moved to the Pacific Northwest um, a couple of months ago and just really excited to get engaged with the community here. Great. And for all of you listening and watching, you can find out more about all of our events at miwifairs.com. Thanks so much. Thank you.